and statistics with Geeta. Today we are going to see the topic chi square test for population variance. That is, we are going to test whether the population variance is some sigma naught sigma square equal to some sigma naught square. Now I am going to give you the skeleton of the test. H naught, the population variance is sigma square equal to sigma naught square or H naught may be the sample has been drawn from a normal population with variance sigma square equal to sigma naught square. H1, the alternative statement, the population variance is not sigma naught square or we can write it as the sample has not been drawn from a normal population with variance sigma naught square. So alpha may be 1% or 5%. Chi square equal to that is calculated chi square is given by the formula n square by sigma naught square n denotes the sample size s square denotes the sample variance and sigma naught square is the given population variance follows chi square with n minus 1 degrees of freedom for small samples that is small samples n less than 30 less than or equal to 30 when n greater than 30 that is for large samples we have to use Fisher's approximation and apply normal test. In that case, Z, the calculated Z value is given by the formula root of 2 chi square minus root of 2n minus 1 follows normal with mean 0 and variance 1. So the calculated value of chi square in the first case that is for small samples the calculated value of chi square is compared with chi square table value at alpha percent for n minus 1 degrees of freedom using chi square tables. In the second case, when for large samples, the normal table values for 1% or 5% can be used to compare with the z calculated value to draw the inference. So these are the steps for uh, testing the significance of population variance using chi square test. First exercise for follow the chi square test for population variance. Okay? It is believed that the precision as measured by the variance of an instrument is not more than 0 0.16. Write down the null and alternative hypothesis for testing this value. Carry out the test at 1% level given the 11 measurements of the same subject on the instrument. The 11 values are then put in. Now the solution, h naught every other sigma square equal to 0 0.16. That is the population variance. Uh, precision is measured by the variance. So the variance sigma square equal to 0 0.16. H1 and the sigma square greater than 0 0.16. So alpha and the 1% are like So given the values, we have to do n square by sigma square and the chi square test. So, in the other one, we S square x bar and the other one, we will apply the square test. Apply. So, given the sample values, we will get the x values. The sum all the x, you will get summation x, then you can calculate x bar equal to summation x by n, that is 27.x divided by 11 measurements, so 11, 2.5. This is original mean x bar. So in the x minus x bar can then x minus x bar the whole square can So x minus x bar na oror x lerno in the two point five one subtract from the other form. Adh kapro oror in the x minus x bar na apni square pando. So square pani the then sum all the values so we we'll get summation x minus x bar the whole square equal to zero point one eight nine one. Now your formula for S square is nothing but 1 by n summation x minus x bar the whole square that is the sample variance. So for now we have the summation x minus x bar the whole square. So that is nothing but your n into S square. So that term of n square cutting. Now you apply chi square test formula that is chi square calculated value is n square by sigma square. So n square is nothing but 0 0.1891 divided by sigma square it is given 0 0.16 so divide you will get 1.182 so chi square calculated value is 1.182 chi square table value at 1% for 10 degrees for 10 degrees of freedom from chi square tables that is 23.209 so compare these two values chi square calculated value is less than chi square table value so your h naught is there is no evidence to reject h naught therefore we are accepting h naught that is h naught is accepted therefore sigma square equal to 0 0.16 so the conclusion is the population variance is 0 sigma square equal to 0 0.16 second exercise 
test the hypothesis that sigma equal to 10 given s is equal to 15 for a random sample of size 50 from a normal population. This is a large sample. Then the sample size is 15. Now we have a solution. H0 sigma equal to 10. H1 sigma is not equal to 10. Sigma is the standard deviation. Sigma square is the variance. So we have to square it. Alpha equal to 5%. Since n is large, we apply using physics approximation the normal test. That is, z calculated value is root of 2 chi square minus root of 2 n minus 1 follows normal with mean 0 and variance 1. So, we have to calculate chi square which is given by the formula n s square by sigma square. n is given as 15. s square that is s 15 na s square 15 into 15 225. Four divided by sigma square. Sigma is 10 then sigma square is 10 into 10 100. So, if the simplify pannu mordhe chi square equal to 112.5 so this is the substitute so, 2 chi square 2 into 112.5 root minus root of 2n minus 1 2 into 50 100 minus 1 so this is nothing but root of 225 so, root of 225 minus root of 99 so after taking the roots and subtracting we have 15 minus 9.95 which is 5.05 so, Z calculated value is 5.05. Z table value at 5% that is 1.96. So, comparing both, we will get Z calculated value is greater than Z table value. Therefore, your H0 is rejected. Therefore, we can conclude that sigma is not equal to 10. When H0 is rejected, H1 is accepted. So, sigma not equal to 10. See, third exercise number 3. The sample of 15 values shows that the standard deviation is 6.4. Is this compatible with the hypothesis that the sample is drawn from a normal population with the standard deviation 5? Solution H0. The sample is from a normal population with sigma equal to 5. Yeah, sigma equal to 5 for the standard deviation sigma equal to 5 for H1 sigma not equal to 5. Alpha equal to 5%. Chi square calculated value is given by n square by sigma square follows chi square with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. And now the sample size of the small sample 15 now, less than 30 or 30. So in the n is 15, s square, upper s one the sample standard deviation 6.4 and not a square divided by population standard deviation 5. So not a square, chi square. So, we multiply the square by 6.14 by 0.4 divided by 5 square 25. So, after dividing, we will get 24.576. So, chi square calculated value is 24.576. Chi square table value of 5% for 14 degrees of freedom from the chi square tables. It is 23.685. Comparing these two values, we have chi square calculated value greater than chi square table value which implies H0 is rejected. Therefore, it means H1 is accepted not known. Therefore, we can conclude that the sample is not from a normal population with sigma equal to 5. So, we have to chi-square in the population variance check and test and test and problems. We have to type of two types. One is direct chi-square equal to n square by sigma square in the formula we use. Chi-square table values we use to test and test. The two types of two types when sample size is given as large, we use Fisher's approximation which is normal test to use to normal table values. Uh, compare panni, so, we will type of problems in the uh, test killer. In the video, like, panninga, share, panninga, comment, panninga, subscribe. Panninga.